Good defence though by Fiji and Drew. It's there though for Bryn Hall. Swings it off to Whitelock. Right out in front of the goalposts. Now Goodhue slips the pass to Burke. And Reese will stroll in and get his second seven Reese. Take their opportunities when presented like the Crusaders. They will hurt you on the scoreboard. Again, it was just roll up your sleeves, a couple of phases, and then every player <laughs> at depth shifting the ball on at the right time to give Reese an easy stroll in. Well, just knowing everyone, everyone's roll in the back there. You see Braid on in, or you'll see him run as well. That lovely line there he is. As Burke comes in again, then Fihaki, he's involved as well, taking out that last defender. But there's numbers away to the right. Here it comes. Sora races it again. Oh, what a game we have on our hands. And with the finishing quality of Seven Reese, the Blues have paid the price for their kicking strategy in the last five or six minutes. Ultimately, you kick it and keep kicking it to this back three, they will hurt you. Seven reached an exceptional to hold on to that pass after the Jordan break. Then the big yep. wide pass to Cody Taylor. Bowden Barrett hangs yeah, on I'll just, he gets up. back to his feet. And then as they swing it Mate. across, they had them for numbers. Couple of steps from Drummond over the top of Harvelli and Reese goes in. They want to kick this quickly. I'll tell you why. Because I think in the juggle from Sebu Reese that Rico Ioani might have got a touch on that ball. And if that's the case, it's a knock on. On the line. Taken by Sebu Reese. Has a charge at the line. He's over. Oh, what a heads up play by Sebu Reese. That's the way to get your game going. Just picks it up. You can see there. He makes his way and he's looking for the opportunity. No, you're not going to give it to me. I'll find the ball myself. Quick little tap. Spots the opening. Power and gets it down over the line. The Crusaders strike and man, they strike quickly. Oh, do they what? It's a nice ball earlier on too. The back through. That's how dangerous they are. This is a heavyweight contest. Now Havili accelerating, frees it up for Seba Reese. Oh, beautiful dummy Seba Reese. He's going to score. Sensational try. Oh, killer blow, all right. And it only took an opportunity for Seba Reese. I think it was Oli Norris that was on the outside to clear mismatch, and they took their opportunity. Will Jordan back short side come the Crusaders and it's Taylor rubbering in behind and it's gonna sit up a treat for Seven Reese. He just makes things happen, does Seven Reese, and he slices off in Canberra. It was almost dainty from Cody Taylor, and, and Seven Reese just works harder than anyone and commits yeah, to, to that fortuitous yeah, bounce. Uh, more than knock on. Off, no knock off on. the white player, yep. back onto the red player Thanks who doesn't buddy. knock it on. Grounding's okay, all clear. Thanks, buddy. I lost my boot too. We've seen two good examples of testing back three, reaction, whoever's back there, you've got to come forward, get all over that ball. Seve Reese, I don't think, can quite believe the Christmas present he's been given. Cody Taylor putting it on the boot. How do you, how do you mark that? There's a hawker putting a general play kick in. Good counter punch to the Crusaders again. Tall and fast, he just didn't know what to do with it. Ball was up. Ball and Sam Whitelock's just helped himself. Ball was left in. The old master. And again, the Blues, the kick, are in trouble. Knock us to say. Oh, Sebu Reese. Oh. Something out of absolutely nothing. But the man who does it best. It's gone. That's well and truly gone. The Crusaders have won another final. Yeah, we'll just be checking paper in front of the crack. They have turned everything, everything into gold all night. The turnover from Mr. Inspiration, Sam Whitelock, and stand-up Pablo Matera. Here's the turnover. The ball is up. It's been handled. Whitelock's through. Gets his hand on it, offloads it. It comes out. The kick through from Matera. The speed of Seven Reese. The bounce of the rugby ball is there for the Crusaders. Well, we know how about his energy, Sebu Reese. Here's the skill from Matera. And here's another piece of skill from Sebu Reese on the fly. Pick it up in greasy conditions. No easy sweat, no sweat. Now he gets to ground, and it's there for Drummond. Away for Moanga. Flying wide to Havili. Reese. Sebu Reese. Still going! Oh, what a try that is! Oh, Seven Reese! The 
dazzling footwork. Yes, boy, he knows how to get it done when given some space, but it's all about Will Jordan as well. Under massive pressure from Vinny Valu, the footwork and then the ability to free up space. But look at this. Bang. See you later. Draw in a player. Bayo Nuku pushes off one, powers into another two, and then as they spin it across the far side, a big loop bridge pass from Richie Moanga into space. Gets it into the hands of David Harvelli and then check this out. Watch the finish. Bang, bang. See you later. Four players left standing. Too much pace for Dungunu. Oh, how good is that? Dancing feet, dancing feet. But the real concern for the Reds now is they've lost their inspirational co-captain and Tate McDermott, one feels. He went in to try and stop Fyanganuku. He copped his right thigh. Ball again. Now to it, the back line to take over. Bihaki away for Gugu. And that's the try that he was looking for, Sebu Reese. The bounce pass wasn't great, but he recovered it. Goes to ground, little pirouette there, foot, step, bounce out of that tackle, bump someone else off, and momentum comes back into the play there. Brent Hall's there quickly. He decides to go out the back. Nice shovel on from Fergus Burke, equally from Fihaki. Under pressure, good you. And from that zone there, there is absolutely no way you are stopping Sebu Reese. No, it's brilliant to watch it. The way the Crusaders just go from chaos back into structure. They lost a bit of momentum. Ricky Jackson, you see Sebu Reese go over here. Desperate now for the Crusaders. They're 14 points down. Havili can't get past, but gets the ball away nicely. Richie Moonga flicks it out the back door. Matira is there. Floats one over the top. Sebu Reese heading for the top. However, when it came to the crucial moments, the offload from Harvelli was one in over the advantage line. Moonga out the back door, and then the offload from Pablo Matera to flying Sebu Reese. He goes in, the Crusaders are back in it big time. Oh, that's sensational. It really is. 14 against 15, using the width of the park, so driving into one corner. So Barrett to pick it up. Harvelli calling for it, and he's got it. Passes deep to Burke. And now Jordan into the line, away to Sebu Reese, and he's in. <laughs> Sebu Reese, second try for the Crusaders. Half back, out to Harvelli, nice little out the door to Enor, and he gets Jordan just on the outside. Marty Banks wasn't sure whether Garden Bishop could get there. He held just a little bit too long. By then, the damage was done when you've got lightning shoes like this bloke. Oh, speed, speed, speed.